Vyas Media Network. What do you, what do you, what's, your, what's your perspective when it comes to uh, having a visionary leader? Having a visionary leader. Thinking not just short-sightedly, but thinking very far-sightedly. Decades of uh, economic growth. I'll just talk about economic growth because that's something that I'm personally interested in this way. And uh, f- that's uh, f- f- your forte as well. So just thinking of the economic growth and uh, just uh, moving towards that. The perspective of having a visionary leader. What's your perspective <laughs> along that line? Well, that's a difficult question. <laughs> Would you have a perspective on that? <laughs> Uh, when I obviously when I when I look at uh, various different uh, countries all across the world, uh, I could definitely go ahead and name a few countries where they've definitely been uh, visionary leaders who've worked towards uh, an economic growth and worked decades for that. Right? Uh, uh, earlier, I definitely touched base mm-hmm. on the amount of uh, mean net worth of a single individual. I would love to go ahead and uh, see uh, see a Nepali citizen going ahead and definitely having that net uh, net worth grow in in a span of a few years or in a span of a few decades, right? So uh, the, the leadership, I'll just touch ba- touch base on this one more time. Having uh, a very political, stable as well as very strong uh, leadership who has vision towards working uh, towards the economic uh, aspect of the country. <coughs> I, I don't know, you know. I well, if I take Switzerland, you know, mm-hmm. we have a, a kind of government which is a consensus-based government and where actually you would think there is no space for for an individual having leadership, you know. Mm-hmm. And in spite of that, we have a very efficient system, a pragmatic system, very efficient. Uh, but it's all also about, you know, uh, taking decisions about consensus and uh, and then these decisions are implemented and but it's not really about you know having a vision and so I think uh, it, it's quite a, 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 a to difficult have a, one to have a meaningful system then yes. that works. I think the system is is uh, yes yeah, the, the fact that the system works uh, is very important. But something also that I would like <coughs> to mention in in relation with the with the governance and also the challenges that uh, that uh, we face now in the world yeah. is the importance of uh, of having a multilateral system that functions. You know uh, because now there is kind of uh, backlash against globalization, the backlash against uh, multilateralism. But countries, you, you mentioned, yes, we are landlocked countries. We are, well, m- countries similar in many ways. And also we are, I think, strong believers in the, in the rule-based order of multilateralism because we know that for smaller countries, this is the best way to be part of the decision-making. Vias Media Network.